Hey, welcome to a new video. Horses are some of the most prized animals in history, and even though they might seem common to most of us, there are some very unique breeds. In this video, we're going to talk about some of these rare breeds. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Before we start, also like the video. Number 22. The Dartmoor Pony is a unique and famous breed, native to the Dartmoor area and Devon, England, where wild herds roam freely for over 3,500 years. Originally used as pack horses for transporting granite, coal, and tin ore from local mines, their toughness and adaptability to any conditions were very valuable. Today, the Dartmoor Pony population is limited, with only a few hundred individuals remaining due to encroachment on their territory. However, preservation efforts have contributed to their conservation and ethical breeding. Two Dartmoor ponies, Pumphill Buckthorn and Rushfield Bailey, consecutively won two prestigious prizes for mountain ponies in 2010 and 2011. The breed's size is relatively restricted, with ponies standing no higher than 12.2 hands and weighing between 400 and 700 pounds. Dartmoor ponies have strict breed standards, with the addition of Arab, Welsh, and Fell Pony bloodlines in the 1920s shaping the breed today. Their fine facial features and limbs make them ideal for riding and competitive in jumping, dressage, and carriage driving. Additionally, their reliable temperament makes them well suited for hunting, trail riding, and therapy work. True Dartmoor ponies come in solid bay, brown, black, gray, chestnut, or roan colors with minimal white markings. Number 21. The Chincoteague Pony, also known as the Assateague Horse, is a breed that resides within a semi-feral or feral population on Assateague Island in Virginia and Maryland, USA. The Chincoteague Pony was made famous by Marguerite Henry's Misty of Chincoteague's novels. Around 150 ponies live on the Virginia side of the fence that divides the island, while 80 reside on the Maryland side. The two herds are managed differently with the Maryland ponies treated as wild animals and the Virginia ponies receiving regular veterinary inspections. Legend surrounds the origin of Chincoteague ponies, with theories ranging from Spanish shipwrecks to horses brought to the island by mainland farmers in the 17th century who didn't want to pay taxes on animals. Chincoteagues are most commonly referred to as ponies due to their size, averaging 13.2 hands. However, they can grow to at least 14.2 hands when domesticated with better nutrition. These ponies participate in a popular annual tradition called the Chincoteague Pony Swim. The wild ponies swim across the Assateague Channel from Assateague Island to Chincoteague Island. The event, organized by the fire company, includes local saltwater cowboys rounding up the ponies and driving them into the water. Once on Chincoteague, the ponies are herded into a pen and auction off the next day to manage the herd's size and support the local fire department. Some of the ponies that are sold are released. Number 20. The Soraya is a horse breed native to the Soraya River Basin in Portugal on the Iberian Peninsula. Some theories suggest that the breed could be a descendant of primitive horses that once roamed southern Iberia as part of the natural wildlife. The Soraya's unique coloring and primitive features have fascinated researchers, leading to ongoing genetic studies to unravel its origins and relationship with other horse breeds and wild horse subspecies. Soraya horses are small, yet hardy, and well adapted to harsh conditions. They were once used by native farmers, but were nearly extinct until a remnant population was discovered by a Portuguese zoologist in the early 20th century. Sarayas are today nearly extinct, with fewer than 200 horses, most of them in Portugal. Despite their endangered status, they have proven versatile, being used in herding bulls, dressage riding, and light harness work. They hold a reputation for being independent, but still trainable. Number 19. The Warlander Horse is a breed of war horse that originated in Europe about 400 years ago. These horses are renowned for their striking appearance and impressive leg action while in motion. The breed was officially recognized in the 1990s and is also known as Andalusian Frisian. 
Recent DNA testing has confirmed that the Warlander breed has original Liberian bloodlines. Warlanders are characterized by their lively and noble temperament, making them highly willing and docile. They adapt well to various tasks and environments. They have a strong and straight profile with a wide skull, triangular eyes, and a gradually narrowing mouth. Their sturdy build includes a strong neck, well-built shoulders, a wide chest, flexible hind quarters, and tough hooves. Warlanders come in various solid colors, but roan, pinto, and Appalachian markings are not permitted. Adult stallions and mares stand between 14.3 to 16.2 hands and weigh around 1,000 to 1,200 pounds on average. These horses are commonly used for riding purposes, including general riding and various sport disciplines, which is probably a step up for them from when they were employed as war mounts. Number 18. Chowalski's horses are critically endangered and native to Mongolia. They were significant as the last truly wild horse species. Though previously believed to be direct ancestors of domestic horses, they are in fact distant cousins, having diverged from a common ancestor approximately 500,000 years ago. As indicated by DNA testing, Chowalski's horses have 66 chromosomes compared to domestic horses 64 and can produce fertile hybrids with domestic horses. These horses are commonly described as small and stocky, characterized by their robust build, large head, thick neck, and short legs. A dark stripe runs from their mane along the backbone to a dark, plumed tail, while zebra-like stripes mark their lower legs and knees. Chowalski's horses stand 4.3 to 5 feet tall at the withers, measure 7.25 8.5 feet in length and weigh between 550 to 800 pounds. Chowalski's horses are called tacky, meaning spirit in Mongolia, reflecting their cultural importance. Once found across Europe and Asia, these horses face numerous challenges, including competition with humans and livestock and environmental changes, leading them to retreat eastward to Asia and eventually becoming extinct in the wild. Today, they're found only in reintroduction sites in Mongolia, China, and Kazakhstan. Number 17. The Nabstrupper, originating from Denmark, has a unique history that dates back to prehistoric spotted horses native to what is now Spain. The breed, as we know it today, was established in Denmark in 1812, when a chestnut mare was bred with a Fredericksburg stallion. When facing extinction, a few families fought to preserve the breed. Their efforts bore fruit in 1971 when three Appaloosa stallions from the United States were imported, providing a lifeline to the Danish spotted horses. Since the Appaloosa and Nabstrupper shared a common ancestry from all Spanish bloodlines, crossbreeding proved successful in reviving the breed. The breed is known for its longevity, often living to an old age. The Nabstrupper is known for its spots, ranging from solid to full leopard spotting and variations in between. They come in various sizes and conformations depending on their bloodline, with heights typically ranging from 15.2 to 16 hands, though they can be taller. Number 16. The Bashkir Curly is famous for its wavy coat, mane, and tail. The breed's history is shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Curly-coated horses have been documented in various parts of the world, from ancient Asian artwork to 19th century South America and Native American lore. Some believe they may have Iberian lineage or have migrated across the land bridge that connected Asia and North America before the last ice age. Interestingly, the American Bashkir Curly is distinct from the Russian Bashkir breed, which also has a curly coat. The modern day North American version of the Curly traces back to 1898 when Peter DeMille discovered three horses with unique coats in the mountains. This discovery led to the family's efforts to breed them, and today, most Bashkir Curly horses in the U.S. can be traced back to this original herd. The hypoallergenic properties of the Bashkir Curly make it a favorite option for riders with allergies. The coat can exhibit either wavy or tightly curled hair, extending to the mane and tail. Number 15. The Misaki horse is exclusively native to Japan and holds its roots in Cape Toy. 
Cape Toy is a tourist destination in Kyushu, where Misaki ponies roam freely. This breed is one of the eight distinct native horse breeds of Japan and is believed to have descended from horses brought from China around 2,000 years ago. Throughout their history, the Misaki ponies have rarely been under human control, experiencing minimal interference except for a period when most male horses were removed, leaving only a select few as stallions. Apart from their historical significance as a native Japanese breed, Misaki horses play a vital role in promoting tourism in the Kyushu region due to their association with the picturesque Cape Toy landscape. In the aftermath of World War II, the Misaki breed faced a severe decline in numbers, leading to a drastic reduction in their population. Today, there are only around 100 remaining. Misaki ponies have bay or black coats, with a few chestnuts occasionally seen. In terms of size, they stand at an average of 13.2 hands high. Number 14. The Orlov Trotter is a horse from Russia. This breed was developed by Count Alexei Orlov and has a rich history filled with noble lineage and careful breeding. Its lineage can be traced back to the Arabian stallion Smetanka, making him a founding figure in the breed's history. Originally valued by Russian nobility in the 19th century, the Orlov Trotter played a crucial role in improving other Russian breeds through its work as both a harness and riding horse. Over the years, the Orlov Trotter faced challenges, including the devastation caused by the Russian Civil War and the economic hardships of the Soviet Union. However, the establishment of the Committee for the Protection of the Orlov Trotter in 1997 helped preserve this breed. The Orlov Trotter stands taller and more muscular than the standard breds, with an arched neck, strong legs, and a large head. Their coloration is often gray due to their Arabian origins, although some are born darker or may even turn entirely white. Their gentle temperament, coupled with their speed and willingness to work, makes them versatile companions for various tasks, whether for work, sport, or pleasure. Number 13. The Black Forest Horse is known as the Schwarzwalder Kaltblut in Germany. This is an endangered breed of white draft horse originating from the Black Forest region in southern Germany. Horse breeding in the Black Forest dates back to the early 15th century, with records found in the archives of the Abbey of St. Peter in the Black Forest. The breed evolved from the Waldenfurt, a heavy horse used for farm and forestry work. However, the mechanization of agriculture and transportation in the post-war era led to a significant decline in demand for working horses. By 1977, the number of breeding mares had plummeted to less than 160, making the Black Forest Horse an endangered breed. Black Forest Horse is always chestnut and no other color variations are permitted for registration. The coat can range from pale to very dark, almost black. Number 12. The Icelandic Horse is a unique and endangered breed developed in Iceland. Despite its small size, it is referred to as a horse in most registries. This breed is known for its long lifespan and hardiness, excelling in the harsh Icelandic temperature. Iceland has strict laws that prevent horse importation, which is preserving the purity of the Icelandic Horse, and it is the only breed of horse in Iceland. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Icelandic horse is its diverse range of gaits. In addition to the typical walk, trot, and gallop, it can perform the tolt and the flying pace. The tolt is known for its explosive acceleration and comfort, while the flying pace is smooth and fast, reaching speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. These unique gaits make the Icelandic horse a favorite among experienced riders. The breed's history dates back to the Viking Age, when Norse settlers brought horses to Iceland between 860 and 935 AD, and it has been bred pure in Iceland for over a millennium. Number 11. The Falabella Horse is native to Argentina, and it is one of the smallest breeds of horses in existence. Rarely standing above 32 inches in height, despite its miniature size, it is considered a horse rather than a pony due to its conformation and characteristics. Falabella is also unique because of its longevity, with an average lifespan of 40 to 45 years, 
Falbella Foles reach adulthood by the age of three and are famous for their trainability, making them suitable for various tasks such as driving and guiding. Their temperament is gentle and loyal, and they have been a natural intelligence that aids in their dressage. The development of the Falbella breed began in the 19th century. Walsh ponies, Shetland ponies, and small thoroughbreds were introduced later to further develop the miniature size within the herd. Number 10. The Hackney Horse Together with the Hackney Pony holds a critical status in its home country of Australia with a population of fewer than 300, making it globally nearly extinct. The breed arrived in the land down under during the 19th century. Hackneys were developed from the roadsters in Britain, and the Hackney Horse traces its lineage to horses like Old Shales, foaled in 1755. In Australia, the breed was initially called Hackney Roadsters, and the name was later formalized as Hackney once it became a breed. The Hackney Horse has a history of being used as a cab horse, with many of them serving in this capacity in the past. They are known for their high energy and showy temperament, which is why they excel in riding and jumping activity. Number 9. The Gedwin Horse is also known as Hungarian Hanglo Arab. The breed traces its origins to Hungary and is notable for its close association with the Arabian Horse. A defining characteristic of all Gedwin Horses is their chestnut coloration. Unfortunately, the breed faces endangerment today with only 200 remaining worldwide. The Gidron breed's influence extends to various other breeds in Eastern Europe, including the Czech, Austrian, and Hungarian Warmblood, Malopolsky, Nonius, Plevin, and the Ukrainian Riding Horse. Despite its endangered status, a 2016 study revealed that the remaining Gidron population possesses more genetic diversity than initially anticipated, which is a promising sign for its preservation. Physically, Gidrons typically stand between 15.3 to 17 hands in height and only those that are crossbred with documented pedigrees and chestnut in coloration may qualify for the stud book. Gidrons are known for their speed, stamina, agility, and courage due to their muscularity and power, which is why they're so prized among collectors. Number 8. The Cleveland Bay originated in England in the 17th century and takes its name from the Cleveland district of Yorkshire. These horses are well muscled and have strong legs, despite being shorter in proportion to their bodies. The bay coat has a consistent trait, though some may display a few light hairs in their manes and tails. As the oldest established horse breed in England, its history traces back to the Middle Ages when it served as a pack horse. Over time, the breed underwent crossbreeding with Andalusian, Barb, Arabian, and Thoroughbred bloodlines, evolving into the Cleveland Bay that we know today. They were initially bred for strength as pack animals, but their role shifted as the need for faster horses came with improved roads and increased demand for carriage and riding horses. They also hold popularity in fox hunting and show jumping, and despite periods of fluctuating popularity and population declines, the Cleveland Bay experienced a resurgence in the 1970s. However, their numbers remain critically low, with just around 900 horses worldwide. Number 7. Imagine walking outside and having this magnificent and noble breed of draft horse from England at your disposal. The Shire Horse is famous for its imposing size, yet gentle temperament. Shire Horses are often growing up to 2,000 pounds. Shire Horses were once ridden by the Knights of England, and could easily carry their armor, plus the armored knight into the battle. Notably, one stallion named Samson grew to an astonishing 21.2 hands tall and weighed over 3,000 pounds, earning the title of the tallest and heaviest horse in history. The most distinctive feature of the Shire horse is its feathering, the long hair on its lower legs and hooves. This breed originated from various regions in England, such as Derby, Cambridge, and Norfolk and these horses are direct descendants of the esteemed British Great Horse. Shire horses love the company of other breeds, where their playful nature shines, but due to their size, some smaller breeds are careful around them. Number 6. 
The Dale's Pony is a versatile breed native to Northern England. It has a rich history of serving as a working hand warhorse, renowned for its iron constitution, great strength, endurance, and calm temperament. It played a crucial role in lead mining. In teams of up to 20, these ponies carried heavy loads of lead, coal, and ore over hard terrain. Dale's ponies are sensitive to the needs of their riders and are known for their steady and sensible temperament. Although the Dale's Pony was in the British Army during both world wars, its numbers drastically reduced after pushing it close to extinction. Thanks to the efforts of dedicated breeders and its remarkable versatility, the breed managed to survive. However, it is now considered critical, with fewer than 300 breeding mares remaining. Number 5. The Camarillo White Horse traces its origins back to 1921 when Adolfo Camarillo acquired a nine-year-old stallion named Sultan at the California State Fair. It is known for its pure white color and pink skin and remains white from birth and throughout its life, setting it apart from gray horses that lighten as they age. Besides their appearance, Camarillo white horses possess a compact and refined build, characterized by strong limbs, expressive faces, large eyes, well-defined withers, laid-back shoulders, and a well-arched neck. All Camarillo white horses can be traced back to the foundation's sire, Sultan, a Spanish Mustang. Sultan was bred to Morgan mares at the Camarillo Ranch, leading to the establishment of a unique line of horses, privately owned and bred by the Camarillo family for 65 years. After Adolfo Camarillo's passing, his daughter continued the horse breeding operation, parading the horses at various parades and events in Ventura County until her death in 1987. According to her wishes, the horses were then sold at public auction, ending the family's exclusive ownership of the breed. However, in 1992, an association was formed to preserve the breed, which was down to only 11 horses. In 2022, there were only 22 horses still remaining. Number 4. The Suffolk Horse comes from the county of Suffolk in England. This draft horse is renowned for its color and has a robust build, short stature, and energetic gaits. It has been an integral part of English history since the early 16th century when it was developed for farm work, possessing the qualities of power, stamina, health, longevity, and docility that were highly valued by local farmers. Throughout the centuries, the Suffolk Punch has remained true to its founding stock making it one of the oldest recognizable horse breeds in existence today. It was selectively bred, which contributed to keeping its bloodlines pure and unchanged. Throughout its history, the Suffolk Punch was prized for its hard-working temperament and good work ethic, which is why it became a popular workhorse on large farms before the Second World War. However, as agriculture became mechanized, the breed faced the brink of extinction. There are conservation efforts to preserve the breed, and there are over 2,500 of them around the world nowadays. Number 3. The Caspian Horse is an Iranian breed of pony. It possesses a rich history that sets it apart from other breeds. It originated in the mountainous regions of northern Iran, and the breed is tough, athletic, and nimble. Its history traces back to ancient times, 3400 BC, in the region of ancient Mesopotamia providing claims that it may be one of the oldest domestic horse breeds. These early horses were depicted in ancient art and pottery, indicating their importance in the daily lives of ancient civilizations. Over time, this breed became popular in various ancient cultures, including the Persian Empire, where small horses were bred for strength and speed, depicted in scenes, pulling chariots, and even used by King Darius the Great during lion hunts. The breed was established in 1965 using a small number of horses found in the Elbers Mountains. Caspian is relatively short but has strong hooves that rarely require shoeing, and its base coat colors include bay, chestnut, and black, often with minimal white markings. Genetically, the Caspian horse falls into a unique classification, different from the four ancestral types, making it a crucial link to ancient horse history. Number 2. The Newfoundland Pony is a blend of various older breeds, including Exmoor, Dartmoor, New Forest, 
Highland, and Connemara ponies. They joined the Newfoundland province with settlers from the British Isles in the 17th century. From the start, they roamed freely and eventually gave rise to the unique Newfoundland pony. In their new homeland, these ponies served as assets to local farmers and fishermen. They pulled plows, hauled fishing nets, transported goods and people across the island, and even moved kelp and wood. However, mechanization during the 1970s and 80s made them lose jobs, and today the breeding population of Newfoundland ponies hovers around 200 to 250, and they're scattered all around the province. The breed's unique genetic makeup was verified through DNA studies. Their height varies from 11 to 14.2 hands, and they weigh between 400 to 800 pounds. Their hooded eyes and furry ears protect them from the elements and pests, while their hard hooves and feathered fetlocks aid in their balance. Number 1. The Galaxina horse breed has roots tracing back to Christopher Columbus's voyages to the New World, where he brought horses to Hispaniola. Hernan Cortez later introduced horses from the Galician province of northern Spain to Cuba, and then to mainland Mexico. These horses left a lasting impression on the natives, who believed the Spaniards to be gods due to the horses' magnificence. After the defeat of the Aztecs, horses made their way to southern Mexico, where they were allowed to breed freely, resulting in the modern Galestino. The breed's small size makes them popular for hippotherapy, while their gentle nature and responsiveness to riders are highly valued. DNA evidence shows that Galestinos are closely related to the Iberian Garano, and through 500 years of natural selection and isolation, the Galestinos have remained pure, showing little genetic exchange with other breeds. They were imported to the United States from the late 1950s to the mid-1960s. Despite their small size, Galicinos are considered horses, not ponies, fully capable of carrying adult riders. Which of these horses was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one of the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.